So let's move on to the solution. So we're given that the charge density is equal to kr. So the way to find the electric field is to use Gauss law and to use the fact that because of this charge distribution, the field lines coming out of the sphere will always be perpendicular to any spherical surface, which is why we can simplify this expression into the absolute value of the electric field times the surface area of, of the sphere. And so using this, we can find the electric field. And so you see that we need to find the amount of charge enclosed by our sphere. So in this problem, we're trying to find the electric field inside the sphere. So how do we, so in order to do this, we'll have to find Q. So how do we do that? So to find Q, this is rather simple. We will just multiply the charge density by a unit of volume. So this is standard procedure in spherical coordinates. So all we have to do now is to solve this integral. So let's just get rid of the, the phi terms. So you see that there are no phi terms inside this expression here, so I can just multiply this by 2 pi. Let's also get rid of the theta, so essentially we have an integral of sine theta from 0 to pi, and if you work that out, it's going to be equal to 2. So we're left with 0 to r, the charge density times r squared times dr, and of course we're given the charge density is equal to kr, so we get kr to the power of third dr, and integrating that, we get kr to the power of 4 divided by 4, which is equal to pi kr to the 4. So we found what q is. So using this result, we can substitute it back inside here to find the electric field. So doing just that, we can arrive at this, at this expression, pi kr to the power of 4, divided by the surface area times epsilon. So we can get rid of the pi's, this r square, this reduces this to an r square. So we're left with k r square divided by 4 epsilon. And don't forget, this is the magnitude of the electric field. And in order to make it a vector, we can add the r vector to this expression. So there we have it. This is our answer. This is the electric field.